Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through third grade English with 29 day number three part of the curriculum and that contents may be found on page number 144 so if you've got your workbook in your hands please turn over to page number 144 and the workbook may be downloaded from heroesmart.com slash store okay heroesmart.com slash store all right so what are we going to be talking about today we're going to be doing orthography we're going to be talking about spelling and how to pronounce pronounce words properly seeing a couple of words written down for us and specifically we are going to be talking about suffix suffix ed that you get to add to words but you got to change the words before you can have suffix ed to those words and we're going to talk about certain rules that govern how you change those words so let's look at rule number one so if the word ends in an e if the word hands and letter e drop the e and then add ed so an example of that is going to be describe Okay, describe. So how do you form the past tense of this word over here? The word describe is a verb. I want to add a suffix to it so I can form its past tense. How do I do that? Well, I am going to drop this E over here, then I can add my ED, all right? Drop your E and then add ED. So that's rule number one. All right. What about rule number two? Rule number two says if a word ends in a vowel, which is followed by a consonant, then double the final letter before adding the word ed to it. So look at uh, the word chop. So chop ends in a vowel and a consonant. So it's gotta be a vowel and consonant. A vowel that, fo that is followed by a consonant. Well, what are you gonna do? You are gonna double the consonant and then add your ed over there. So it's gonna be chopped. We're not gonna write just chopped. No, there's gotta be a p over there because there is a vowel and there is a consonant and then you are gonna have p e d chopped. So it's gonna be the past tense of chopped. All right. What about rule number three? Rule number three, if the word ends in a Y, change the Y to uh, I and then add ED to it to form its past tense. So an example is gonna be reply, all right? So we wanna form the past tense of reply. What do we do? We are gonna change we are going to change the Y to an I, and then we are going to add our ED to it. So it's going to be replied. Okay, replied. So rule number one, the word ends in an E, drop your E, and then add ED. Rule number two, word ends in a vowel and a consonant combination. Add another consonant, double the consonant, and then add your ED to it. Rule number three, word ends in a Y, change the Y to an I, and then add your ED to it to form your past tense. So reply, replied. Okay, good stuff. Did you get something from that? I hope you did. So please go ahead and look, uh, turn to your page number 144. You are gonna see additional exercises over there to help you to retain this content a little bit better. I wanna appreciate you for joining me today and remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye.
I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born